Hey, welcome back to my Minecraft 1710 Series Plus. I've done a little bit of work on our Lord of the Rings tower. I've just started trying to get a little bit of detailing work done on it. Um, I was able to get some marble stairs. We'll go up there and have a look in a second. But um, I was I know I was planning on putting the stairs on the other side of the building, but I'm putting them on this side here because it just makes more sense to how this is laid out. Um, today, what we're going to try and do is finish this tower up. Um, so I'm probably going to have to finish figuring out what I'm going to do with this side over here and then up here at the top, that's where our um, primary uh, portal will be for the Lord of the Rings mod. And if we go up here real quick, I still have to work on the outside here, so just ignore that for now. But And I still need to do some sculpting here. Um, but we've got some, you know, some chisel blocks in here. Um, I'm going to leave these corners, I'm going to have to shape this corner, I think think. I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to do with this part yet. Uh, I might shape these corners. Uh, we still need to put a little tower in this on this corner and over there. Underneath there, there's still a big cave I got to work with, so that's a little bit of work to do. But over here, um, I want to put a flame in here, so I'm going to get some nether brick uh, or nether rack, throw it in here, and then light it on fire. So we got a fire on both of these towers here. And then if we go up here, um, I've sculpted this just a little bit. And shape the stairs a little bit, just add a little bit of detail to it. Uh, once again, here, this is going to go up. It's going to be indented here all the way up. Um, this I'm going to have come out. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it on this part here and have it come out towards us, or if I'm going to have it stick out this way. But there's going to be a little tower here where the actual portal will be at the top. So if we come around here, what I've done is I put some stairs in here with a nice little slope roof. Just kind of looks nice. And then this is going to be a little landing. There's going to be a tower that comes up here to make this a nice little landing here. And then we're going to have to probably put stairs up around this way to get up on top. So we've got enough room here to get up on top right now. And we've got enough space for a portal here. But like I said, I think we need to build a little tower out this way, you know, um, just to take it out slightly on this side. Just maybe overhanging like three or four blocks out and then this is where the portal will be right here and then this can be just an area where we can have chests or whatever else uh, for stuff that we're going to either going to go to take to Middle Earth or bring back from Middle Earth one or the other um, so yeah it's actually getting it's moving along here pretty good I've got a ton of marble having that um, if you go to our inventory here having this alamite hammer if you hit shift right now you can see it's almost half uh, taken half damage. Effective durability was uh, 10,000. We're down to about half of that right now. Um, the silk touch really helps out because now I don't have to cook any of these. It's, they're already, the marble comes already um, just like it is on the ground, which is excellent. So it saves a whole lot of time and a lot of coal. Um, so let's go back. I'll show you how much marble I got in here. Um, I did, I got, I don't know, how, I don't know how many stacks, 30 or 40 stacks of marble, so this is kind of what I've got going on right now. I've got our, our carpenter's blocks uh, ready to go here. So this is a carpenter's door that I just added here. So we're going to get working on this right now, and when I come back, um, I'm hoping to have at least this part here done with the tower, and I'll show you what that looks like, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll uh, go off camera again and try and finish off the last little bit of the tower on the other side. Still probably going to have detailing work to do, but I'll probably be do that between this episode and the next episode. So our goal today really is to finish this tower off and get the portal working and maybe take a quick look into Middle Earth. So yeah, so I'll be back shortly and uh, we'll see what this is, how this uh, works out. Okay, we're back. We finished most of the tower already. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing the stuff that we're going to need for um, getting our porthole set up and built. So we need a flint and steel. Uh, and we need a Lord of the Rings ring, gold ring. And we're going to go back. I'll just show you real quick when we get back there. Now the tower is not done by any means. It's pretty darn close. It's been taking me quite a while to build this thing. Um, but I'll do some improvements later on. I still need to light it up and stuff. Because um, there's no lighting in anything or anything there right now. But I want to do it properly, so I'm not going to just kind of rush through it. But that I can do later. Um, I'll do it off camera between episodes, and this is lagging. Here we go. All right, cool. So there we go. It's starting to look pretty good. Um, there's still some detail work, obviously, that needs to be done. I'm kind of getting the, the top working a little bit better. This is kind of not working really that well in here for me, so I might adjust this slightly. Um, 
we can see this side a little bit better over here. So it kind of goes up to the top there. There's still a few bricks that need to be adjusted. Um, once again, we're going to need to finish this opening uh, or entrance bit there too. So let's just go up to the tower real quick. Um, you can see it kind of built out on this side. Once again, this is not perfect. I still need to work on it a little bit. Um, and that's right there is the section that we're going to use to uh, put our um, Lord of the Rings portal. So we're going to go right up here. Um, I put some stairs in up this way. So it's all stairs all the way to the top. Um, I got to fix this corner too. It's a little bit weird. But um, this is ex this is where we're going to put the Lord of the Rings um, tower right here. Or the uh, portal. So the thing you need to do for this is light the ground on fire and... Oops. Boom. And it, the ring will appear. Now I did it one level lower than what I want. Because in order to go, you got to be right in the center of the ring. So I want to be up a little higher. So now I'm just going to quickly finish the um, what I want here for our platform. So I'm going to do this real quick. And try not to get sucked in. Don't want to go prematurely here. Alright, so that's that. We want to put a wall around the outside. So we're going to do that. Uh, one, two, three... Um, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go up here. Gotta stay out of there. Or we're gonna get sucked out of here. And this, and this, and then what we want to do is put. I've been using uh, carpenter's blocks here to kind of give us that chiseled corner look. Um, so we're gonna put some of those on here again. Put one on each corner. Get this done. Okay, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to put, we're going to do this, um, so that's got a full five. Probably what we'll do, we should do here is I think just take these out, like that, and then we'll put some of these guys in just to give it a little bit of angular look to it. Um, yeah, it's a little better. And I think what we'll do also is we're going to bring some stairs out here. Now I brought a stairs up as well. So we're going to add just like stairs like this. Carpenter stairs. So it matches everything. Right? So we can come up in here and we'll take our portal to Middle Earth. Um, I think we need to go up one block and get into the center of this to be able to do it correctly. Am I right? Yeah, we've got to be up one block. So what we'll do... I've got none of these left. So one, two, three, oops, three, four... Yeah, we gotta be up one. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, come on. Ah, it's not gonna let me do it. I can't apply it to the back of this or else it, uh, there we go. Seven, eight. So there we go. It's not perfect. We'll work on it. But it's there, it's done now, so we can actually get it, get up and access to um, Middle Earth. So before we go, we're going to do a couple of things. Normally when I go, uh, when I do Middle Earth, um, I do it in such a way that um, the game experience is, you know, set how it kind of should be. So in Middle Earth, you're supposed to start with nothing. So generally what I do is I leave all my gear behind. I, set my, I give myself a set of stone tools. Um, because, you, I mean, you can get stone tools there, too, but um, I find, you know, just taking them speeds things along. And then I take an obsidian pickaxe as well. Um, I take a uh, regular uh, um, T-construct obsidian pickaxe. And then anything that I, that doesn't belong or I'm not taking with me, I'm going to leave here in this chest. And then when I come back, I can just pick it up again. So let's actually make another chest here. Got a double size one going. So I'm going to go back downstairs, drop all this stuff off, all this extra material and that, and gather up the materials I need to go, and then we're going to go to Middle Earth. So that's kind of cool. Alright, so let's just sleep here. And then um, when we come back, I'll come back up here in a second, and um, we'll have all our gear and we'll be ready to go. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, we're back. So I just went down and got a bunch of stuff. So I am leaving everything here with the exception of some stone tools 
Uh, I consider the obsidian pickaxe to be a stone tool too, so... Um, not taking a sword. I guess I could have made a sword, but I didn't, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, we'll just leave our tools like this, and then we need to take off our armor, and I don't think we have any jewelry yet, nope. So we're going to just leave this here too, because we're going to be building all our own stuff when we get there. I'm hoping that um, eventually we'll have, like, um, uh, metals and stuff from there to build the proper weapons and tools from there. So let's take the uh, trip here to the Middle Earth. See you in a minute. All right, here we are. And we get some medium pouches and a quest book to start off with. If you've never been to Middle Earth, this place is pretty cool. Um, it took a little while to load in, and uh, then I forgot that I had tried, I was going to update the uh, Lord of the Rings mod, and then I went and got the update, and uh, it didn't work. So I had to put the old version back in. So now we're back up and running here. But uh, we start off in the Shire. If we go to our map here, have a quick look. Um, we're in the Shire right now. Um, and um, the Shire is completely peaceful. We don't have to worry about being attacked by anything. So it's a kind of a good place to start off. Uh, normally what I do is I make this place, uh, I make a home here, and then uh, I build my farm here. And I leave a, uh, I leave a uh, miscraft book so I can travel here at any point in time. And I leave a uh, chunk loader to, uh, so the farm can, can grow stuff and that. Um, but there's, you know, if you want to stay in Middle Earth, that's great too. This place is uh, pretty cool. So there's a couple of things you got to kind of go through here. So if you press the home key, well, I've got it set up as the home key. It gives you the Middle Earth map, and Middle Earth is pretty damn huge. Um, it's ridiculously huge. It doesn't look so right now, but once you start moving, this place is really, really big. So each of these little dots here are waypoints. Um, and when you've discovered an area, you can actually fast travel to these waypoints. And the more times you travel, you fast travel to the waypoints, um, the less time it takes next time to be able to get there. So any waypoint that's kind of got a light colored interior, uh, we've already been to and we can access. So right now we're in um, the Shire here and we have access to all of the Shire's waypoints. But if you notice these brown ones here, we haven't been there yet, so we don't have access there. You actually have to go and discover them. Uh, and the way to do, to do that is actually moving in, move into the colored area that they exist in, and it will help you discover them. So, um, yeah, it's uh, actually a lot of traveling around. Some of them, like the Misty Mountains, you'll get most of them if you move into the Misty Mountains, so it allows you to travel from north to south really, really fast. Rivendell's here. Um, the west gate of Moria is here. Now, Moria is not done. There's no underground realm that you can actually go into. Unfortunately, that would be kind of cool, but uh, Lothlorien's there. Fangorn Forest. Um, Minas Tirith is down here. So, uh, And then it, once you get across into, to uh, Gorgoroth and stuff, there's this is just all orcs and craziness down here. So we're going to go. We're going to stay in the Shire for the first little bit, and we're going to find a place to make a home. Um, I'm um, just going to, so if you click on the home key here and you use your, your um, back and forth keys here, it'll take you through the different uh, areas. So there's different factions and different zones that you can go into. Um, and you notice this is the Westlands, this is kind of where we are now. Each faction's kind of got its own um, alignment ranking and, and how much they like you and stuff. So the higher your ranking with that faction, the better deals you'll get with them. Uh, some of them you have to have a pretty high ranking before you can get things like um, like buy armor and stuff for them. So uh, then there's list of achievements. Um, if you're part of a fellowship or not, um, you can create a title for yourself if you want. Um, don't really need to have one, but you can. You can, check the ki you can select the kind of shield that you have on you. Uh, depending on the shield that you have, um, you can choose one. It's kind of cool. Um, doesn't really matter which one you use, they're all the same. So we're going to go with, I think, let's see here, uh, maybe something like that. Um, you can uh, do all kinds of options and then we're back to the map here. So we're in the Shire. Now, 
the great thing about um, the Middle Earth mod is it rather than just actually playing a regular Minecraft, um, it kind of they've kind of um, created uh, quests and stuff. So sometimes you'll see guys with um, exclamation points above their head, and they actually have quests for you. Uh, we can't. We haven't seen anybody right now, but so I'm not going to steal anything from here. You can. Normally, they don't care if you take stuff, but uh, you know. Um, also, too, you can trade with people. So one of the things you can do is, in the Shire, anyway, is there some of the, some people will trade for four-leaf clovers, so you can get some money off them. Now there is a money system in this as well, so you can buy and sell things. Um, so you can grow pipe weed and sell it to certain vendors and stuff. Um, they've got their own trees, their own biomes. This like this place is just hugely immense for stuff. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to try and find a place to start here. Um, looks like oh this is this is an elven traveler here. Usually at the start you, you'll get some travelers, and yeah these guys will only offer if you're friend friend with the elves. But there's some dwarves here. So one of these guys, the guy with the whoa. Oh, bad bush. Um, if you find a guy with a coin in his hand, he's actually, you can trade with them. So you can see here, you can trade for a bunch of stuff. Glowing, glowing dwarven, dwarven brick, dwarven pike, um, dwarven leggings, and these are the things that he's looking to trade. So if you've got any of these things, you can trade them and get some coins and then buy some stuff off them. So yeah, um, we're going to get started, I think. Uh, first things first, we're going to try and find a place just to build a house. Um, uh, this guy's an oddities trader too. This guy will have, uh, he'll trade for some, you know, weird stuff. Um, you can buy, but you can buy uh, this kind, of, these things off him. But you can, you know, if you have bread or anything like that, you can sell to him. Now these guys will only stay in the area for a certain amount of time. Ooh, pipe weed. Um, so, yeah. So if you're gonna sell stuff to them, you gotta do it fast. So pipe weed. Um, this is just a raw plant. This allows you to get seeds to to plant your own, and then that's the pipe weed that you sell. So we're going to pick up some of that. Uh, now, like I said, this place is completely peaceful. There's no uh, monsters to fight in the Shire. You actually have to leave the Shire to find uh, monsters to fight. So we're going to stay here for a bit. We're going to find a place to build a house, I think. Um, now, our portal is just over here. So we're going to head to close to the portal, I think. Um, and we're going to spend our time building a house over here, I think, because I don't want to be too far from it. Now, once we get um, uh, a book for Miscraft up and running here, we can travel directly here. It doesn't really matter where, um, but we can do that later. So maybe we'll build, I don't know, under this tree or something. Uh, maybe it's a bit high. I want to make a farm here. So relatively flat area, maybe down in here. Um, sure. So let's get our axe out. Let's get some wood here. We're going to use this aspen wood right now. We're going to chop this tree down using tree capitator. It's going to take a little while. Um, but what we're going to do here is I think we're just going to set up, build a farm. Um, and that will be this place here. So we're going to do some farming and stuff. Now, oh crap, I, just, I really did that, didn't I? Um, so, you know what, I'll go and come back once I get this tree cut down and I've kind of leveled out an area for building a house. And I'll be right back. All right, so we've got a few things started now. Um, we were able to find a few things. So we got found a couple of pear trees, or a pear tree. We were able to get a couple saplings, so I planted those. Um, i got the sort of the base of the house set up right now. Um, i got to find some more materials to do it. The one thing about Lord of the Rings is you can you know, take forever to get, find stuff because you're not really being attacked by mobs. You can work day and night and do stuff. So um, I picked up a couple quests. One was a, a hobbit over here that wanted some pork chops. So I'm just going to go back over here, quickly turn to this one. The other one uh, was for six cooked venison and another one was for some plums. I didn't find a plum tree anywhere. I only have five cooked venison. I was only able to find that much. But um, you notice the storybooks here, it tells you um, who's who, right? So now I can come to this person and just to right click on them and they drop their money. So I made uh, two silver coins and two silver coins worth 10. So this is uh, 22 silver. So not bad, not bad at all. Now there's a couple places on the map. If we go to the map real quick here, 
Um, the only place you can really trade with people are is the inn for the Shire. So there's two inns near her, nearby here. So we can zip over here and and uh, possibly do some trading. Now I also found while I was uh, sort of terraforming my front yard here, I also picked up a uh, four-leaf clover. So that's one thing we can trade for. Now that's worth usually about 42 or so silver pieces. So we're going to go back to the house and we're going to grab a bunch of stuff and we're going to head over to um, one of the two um, inns. So we're going to grab, actually let's cook up the barley. We're going to turn this into um, bread so we might be able to sell that while we're there. Um, pipeweed. So here's our four leaf clover. We got that. Um, raw rabbit. We can probably trade. They might trade for wool. I don't know. Uh, they, I think they do trade for coal. So I'm going to take a bit of coal with me. Take maybe this much. Um, after I do, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I'm going to need five for the barley here. So let's actually just do um, this. So we're going to put this guy in there, take the venison out, do that, so we get that cooked up. And I will come back once we have arrived at the inn, and we'll see what we can get to trade there. Now, each individual faction in the game has their own workbench. Uh, each crafting table will do different things, and each faction in the game has, most of them have their own forge. Um, so, um, we'll see if we can pick up the Hobbit crafting table, at least while we're there. Uh, then we can make some Hobbit doors, the ones that just slide open, like in the house over there. Uh, the doors will just slide open and slide closed. We can build a few of those. But you need the Hobbit crafting table to be able to do that. So I'll come back once this is cooked up and I'm over at the end. Be right back. Alright, so we're almost there. Oh, finally a plum tree. Cool. And this guy's got a quest. What do you want? Collect seven plums. Well, we can do that. Somebody else wants plums too, so let's take this plum tree down. Let's see if we can get some plums off this thing. Well, looks like we're probably going to have to... Yeah, we're going to have to go and grow some more plum trees. That's fine. So you can find also, uh, we've got plum sap saplings, but you can find leaves on the ground too. If you break the leaves, you can sometimes get stuff too. Ah, eh, not like, not this time, but... Just on a rare occasion you can. So there's the inn over there. So we're just going to boot it over there. So the Lord of the Rings sky is completely different. The moon is totally different. Um, and the nice thing about being in the Shire, like I said, is you can travel through the nighttime here and not have to worry about stuff. Um, the Hobbit houses, some of them are Hobbit holes underneath hills. And other ones are built above grounds. And that's just a windmill over there. If, if you want, feel like, you know, if you want to rob stuff out of these things, you can. I generally try not to. Um... But you most certainly can, and looks like a couple sheep died out here. Okay, free stuff. Not gonna, not gonna complain about that. So this is the uh, Merry Ranger. So we're gonna go in here, and I'm gonna talk to the bartender here. What does she got here? So she wants coal. She wants salt, which you need to find in the mines. Raw chicken, pipeweed leaf. She's looking for a four-leaf clover and buckets. And this is what she's got. Mug, mushroom ale, rabbit stew, ale, parry, chocolate, cooked rabbit, and a hobbit pipe for blowing white smoke. So we're going to trade off our four-leaf clover. Uh, so we'll just put that and get 42 silver back. And then we're going to trade... Uh, let's trade... Mm, maybe half our coal, or 22 coal. It's only 11 coins. It's not really worth trading it, so we're going to hang on to that for now. I'm just going to see if anybody else in here wants to... Uh, oh, I guess the uh, inn must have spawned on top of some stuff. So there's some bread there. Um, no hobbits in... Oh, this guy's got a quest. What's up with you, lady? Collect six parry decline. I don't have an alcohol uh, thing yet. You can uh, get ale barrels and you can make alcohol, too. Um... So, nobody else in here with a quest? Okay, so we're going to head out of here. What a mess. We are in now, they say. So that's the same person. So we're going to head out of here. We're going to head back home. We've got plums now. We've got some plum trees. We're going to set those up to grow. Um, just having a look around, see if there's any different types of trees around here. I like uh, using a variety of different kinds of woods when I'm building my house. Um, 
But yeah, it doesn't look like it. Let's have a look, quick look at the map here, see where we are. Uh, I'm going to go down over here and check this out for some mining, but uh, other than that, I'm just going to head back home. If I find anything interesting, I'll come back, but um, barring that, we're just going to head back to our house. Uh, I'll see you in a few minutes. Alright, so after a quick mining drop down in this that uh, crevice, found some pretty good stuff down there. So if we go into our backpack here, or our pouch, you can see we found some rock salt, uh, copper, tin ore, iron ore, which is, we need iron for sure, osmium. And then we found a bunch of tin and copper from the Lord of the Rings mod, which we need to make certain stuff here. Um, we don't have access to um, a lot of the other stuff, so uh, in order to be able to build weapons and armor here, we need to find the actual Lord of the Rings mod, copper, and um, um, and tin and stuff. The great thing about these pouches too, um, if I just take these out and put the dirt in all of a sudden, if you have something in the pouch and you break a block and you pick it up, you'll notice that it's not in your inventory. It actually goes straight into the pouch, which is awesome. So it's better than... These backpacks are pretty good in overall, the pouches. Um, they come in three different sizes, so... Um, which can be merged together. So if you've got two small, you can merge them into a medium. Uh, and one medium and one um, small will make a, uh, a large pouch. And the largest pouch you can have is 27 slots. So, I mean, it's not, you know, overly great. 27 is pretty good. It's not as good as a big backpack, but um, the fact that stuff will go right in there while you're mining in that, it's uh, great to keep your inventory clear. Um, so we're going to head back home now. We spent a good night mining here. We picked up some resources. Um, we're going to head off back home, plant our plum trees, wait for them to grow, and we can uh, finish up those two quests. Uh, you'll notice that the industrial craft stuff, those guys spawn here too, so that's going to be kind of neat to uh, let one of these guys go in the Shire. Um, we'll worry about do, do that later. Um, yeah, so I'm going to head back home now, and I'm going to try and finish up the house. And I will come back when I'm done that. All right, so I've kind of given up trying to f to uh, actually get a hobby Hobbit crafting table by trading. So I'm just I just came into somebody's house here. I'm using the uh, their Hobbit crafting table now. You can only build it in actual Hobbit crafting table. You cannot build this in any other any other way. So it's just two oak wood planks or two any wood planks, and then two any kinds of wool will get you a Hobbit crafting table. And now you can actually start uh, crafting. Um, anything that has to do with uh, Hobbit stuff. So there's like Hobbit gates and a bunch of other things. Um, there's also the uh, Hobbit furnace, which is great because it's basically it's basically like a food cooker. So you can cook like you know nine things at a time. I think it is with one piece of coal. So it's actually really really good. So let's get the Hobbit crafting table. First thing we want to do is I want to build some doors. So I'm just going to go to the wiki real quick. All right, I figured out how to make a few things here. So I cooked up my iron and the osmium I found. Uh, I was going to throw the osmium in here. We're going to need the iron. So in order to make hobbit doors, we need to get some gears. And of course, it's raining. Uh, oops, sorry. This is this is inverted. We need to put uh, the wood in the center and the iron around the outside to make hobbit gate gears. And then what we do is we use our gate gear and we use wood and now we need to get whatever color we want to go in here and here so we need either there's four kinds of colors um, so there's red there's blue there's green and yellow so we need to find some flowers um, to take care of that one sec all right that's a little better so we're gonna go and try and find some red flowers oh there's some roses up here so we just need red dye I'm um, going to grab these bushes and we're going to go and make ourselves some red dye. So um, each um, crafting recipe makes four doors and you can make these as large as you like. So and pretty much any shape as long as it's rectangular. So let's just turn these into some dyes and we're going to put these in here. And oh we're in the wrong station, that's right. So the only way you can do this is actually be in the actual Hobbit crafting table. So we're going to do that. That would make more sense. There we go. Four Hobbit, four Hobbit doors. So we're just going to throw some doors on here for now. Oops. So you cannot click with the door. But so we're just right clicking. Opens the doors. 
and closes them. So we are going to put them here and here for now. Um, I'll end up making bigger doors probably here and here, but I'm just going to leave this for now. Uh, and then another thing we can do is if we put a piece of wood here and a stick here, we can take a piece of wool and, right, I keep forgetting that these don't save the uh, stuff in it. So a piece of wool on the top, stick in the middle, and a piece of wood at the bottom, and we get a banner of the hobbits. So we're going to stick this outside our house, just let them know we're allies with them. Boom, hobbit banner, nice. Just going to put it out there for now. And there's other things we can do. We can build a hobbit oven, but in order to do that, we need um, bricks. So we need full uh, brick blocks in a uh, square around here, and we can get a hobbit oven. But don't have that right now, so we'll have to do that later. So I was working on my house over there um, just to try and get that finished now, but then I'm heading out trying to find sand so I can make glass, and I found this uh, um, dwarven merchant here. And we're going to trade for some stuff because he's got uh, glowing dwarven brick and I want some of that. So he's got he just three for three coins. So if I put, um, I think I can just, what do I do now? Oh, that's right. Just all we have to do is pick it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. We we'll take six of them, I think. He's got 46 for a helmet. Common protection lasting. Yeah, we don't have any armor yet, so let's pick up hmm, regular glowstone. Let's pick up um let's pick up a dwarven helmet. So we at least have some armor on. Yeah, we look badass now. Alright, so <laughs> cover up my bald spot for the daytime. So we're gonna go down here and grab some um clay, we're gonna grab some sand. I don't wanna make it so that this place looks awful though, so I'm gonna try and at least grab it from the center of the water. Um I'm trying to keep the Shire looking as pristine as possible. Um, it is technically our the place where we live, so I don't want to make it look, look make it look too crummy. So we're only going to take from probably any place in the water closer to the center. So we're going to go out here and just grab some stuff. Now I need a bunch of stuff, uh, dwarven um, bricks to make a, um, ho or sorry, I need just regular bricks to make a hobbit oven. So I'm going to grab a bunch of clay here too. Uh, we may build a smeltery here, but I don't really think we really need to. Um, I probably have to build a workbench to keep my obsidian pickaxe in tune, but uh, that I'm not really worried about. Okay, so when I've picked up enough glass and I'm making the... Um, I'm going to try and make like basically hobbit windows. And I think I can do that in a hobbit crafting table. I have to just go back and check the wiki to see how to do that. but. Uh, once I figure that out, I will come back and we will put together the rest of the house before this episode ends. Um, at least we have a good starting place now. And the next time I think what we'll do, um, I'm going to start separating my series very shortly. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm planning on doing like um, a series for Lord of the Rings. Uh, and I'm planning on doing, uh, you know, a series for... Um, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, Twilight Forest, um, and you know, just a regular Minecraft series, like technical stuff. So we're gonna do some um, galactic craft and things like that. So yeah, once I get uh, a little more in depth in each, each individual mod, then I'll just start um, working on a series for each one. Now they'll all be connected because I'm gonna be playing it out of the same game here. So one thing I do love about the 1710 pack. Um, is you can just pretty much um, take it whatever direction you want to take it, which is great. So, all right, so I'm going to head back to the house and I will come back once I've got, once I'm ready to build the uh, glass here. So I'll just show you the house real quick, we see how it's uh, coming along. Uh, I'm not really big on the pillars there, but we're going to make an upstairs for it. I like making upstairs to the house. Uh, We've got it sort of laid out right now, kind of kind of how I want it. Uh, the rain is really, really annoying, so I'm making the outsides a little longer. I might add some poles down here, uh, some, you know, uh, like a cobblestone pathway or something along here. So the back is pretty much the same. Um, we've got a center piece here that um, I don't have a ladder up to right now, but there is a second floor up there. So I want to use the uh, Dwarven Glowstone to sort of light everything up rather than putting torches inside. I think the torches look kind of corny 
inside a house. So yeah, when I when I get the glass ready, I'll uh, I'll come back. Oh yeah, I also made a grindstone too, so uh, we can get at least double our minerals here. Uh, the problem with um, the stuff from the Lord of the Rings mod is you can't actually, um, or can you? You might be able to know. You know what happens when you do this? Uh, I'll just do it real quick. I think it turns into the regular copper. You don't actually double your copper this way. So if the Lord of the Rings mod is requiring specific Lord of the Rings copper, yeah, see, I get industrial craft now. So that's completely useless. So the only it's a one-to-one -one ratio here um, for copper and tin for the Lord of the Rings mod. So really it's going to happen to be mine as much of that as we possibly can. Um, but for other things like osmium and stuff like that, and the, just the regular mods, like if we find gold, uh, we can grind it up and turn it into gold bars. Salt rock we can't, but, you know, we'll uh, we'll do the best we can with what we've got. So, okay, so when I get the uh, windows back um, finished, I'll come back and I'll show you how things are laid out. Okay, and we're back. So I finished putting the windows in. Um, just using the ornate windows from Lord of the Rings mod. Uh, just going with the black style for now. Um, this is actually carpenter's blocks, um, ladders using um, the chestnut wood, and yeah, so I put the uh, dwarven brick in just to light things up a little bit. Um, you know, it's not the best, but for now it'll do. Uh, you know, a little bit of windows on the outside here so we can see what's going on outside. Same thing around the back. Looks like our plum trees have grown, so we're going to go out back and harvest the plum trees. And I think we'll finish up this episode. Hopefully we'll get enough plums that we'll be able to uh, finish up those two quests. Um, I think one person wanted seven and the other person wanted four or something. We've got three already, so there's another three. Let's plant, replant that. The thing I do love about the uh, wood here in uh, um, the Lord of the Rings mod, oh nice, is that um, each one's got its own specific look, so it's pretty cool. It looks like we have an absolutely perfect amount. So I'm going to actually plant these last two uh, plum saplings. We're just going to put them around back here for now. Um, and it looks like our pear trees are grown, so I'm just going to cut them down real quick as well. Uh, the thing is, we're trying to keep um, a good amount of stuff in stock, like pears. Uh, we can, there's also green apples that we can get. Um, and harvest. We want to keep some of them in stock because those are the easy quests to actually do. It's just a matter of um, chopping down a few trees and picking up some pears. So if we're out here doing that, you know, um, whenever we're outside doing stuff, we'll uh, gather up enough that, you know, whenever there's a uh, quest, we'll be able to just finish it off real quick and make some good money. Well, not good money, but it's okay money. Now I'm going to leave that aspen tree for now. We've, uh, Still got lots of aspen wood. And I think this person wants apple crumble, right? No, berry pie. I don't really have the stuff to make berry pies right now. I need to get a hobbit oven, I think, in order to do that. Um, so let's put this stuff in here. And the pears can go in there and that can go in there. So let's go give our plums to the people that need them. Uh, one person wanted, I think it's this person over here that wanted the plums. And the other person's down by the uh, other inn, or the inn. Um, what did you want again? Oh, six cooked venison. I think I picked up... Let's go do that really quick. You want the pies. I don't got pie. So we've got in here, we've got five cooked, one raw. So let's cook up that raw venison real quick and we'll go turn that quest in as well. So let's just do, oops, we'll do this and this. Got it done real fast. Um, I'm going to take the extra plums with me just in case I'm mistaken in how many they need. And this will be the last venison. Cool. So let's go turn these quests in and get some cash. Um, it's always good to have cash on hand so when the traders come by, because oftentimes they'll have some pretty good stuff. Um, so here you go. So that was nine coins. and eh, not a big deal. We're going to throw them in our small pouch here. So the small pouch has only got 9 slots. Um, the medium's got 18 and the large has got 27. So now that anytime we pick up some more coins, they'll go straight into our pouch. That's more... don't need that right now. That's more pipe weed. Save that for later. The dwarves are still here. 
Uh, what did you want? Cooked mutton. Well, where's the plum person? Oh, the plum person's over here. Where was the other person now? There was somebody that wanted plums. Let's have a look on the map. See if they show up there. Uh, actually, it's on the Hobbit map, I think. If I go home. Yeah, it is. So that's the Martha Greenhand. So the two other ones are down here. Rudger Bunsen, Goldilocks, Fallowhide. So we're going to head this way. Um, should I pick up any more quests as we're going? Five pairs. Ugh, I don't think we got five, did we? I can't remember. I'm not going to bother. Just going to head and turn these other two quests in real quick. Um, so the goal next episode for Lord of the Rings will be to um, probably start heading to the next area so we can get some more fast travels. Ow. Um, there we go. Plus nine. Cool. And we'll go down to the other one in. So we'll be able to get um, some fast travels to new areas. Uh, then we'll start encountering things like or orcs. We can go to visit the elves. Um, things like that. Run into bandits along the way. Um, there we go. And depending on where you go, too, the obviously the different races have different trades, different trade needs. So the hob is mostly food-based, food or alcohol. Surprise, surprise. All right, so there's 12. So now we just have to go... So we did... Didn't need those. Okay. Um, so let's head back. I want to grab some blue flowers here. Just so we can make some uh, blue doors if we have to. Um, be nice to have, you know, a few flowers of each color just kicking around the house. Grab four of each. And this is red. To, oh, we've got plenty of red near us. Green, though. I don't know where we're going to get green from. All right, what do you want? Cider. Nope. Don't have a uh, distillery going yet. Not sure where we can... Oh, cactus green. But Oh, there's an apple tree. Going to go cut that down real quick. When I was out wandering around a little while ago, it was... Uh, someone was looking for some green apples. So there's two kinds of apples. There's green and red here. So you can, as you can see by the tree, there's two, two different colors. So... Um, yeah, we didn't get any, but we got apple saplings, so that's good. We can bring them close to our house now. So, you know, it's nice to have a stock of those on hand. Um, it really depends on, you know, what your play style is. If you like action, you don't even need to stay in the shower. Just leave here. Just gather some food. Just kill a bunch of cows and pigs and stuff. Uh, cook it up. Leave the shire. And, you know, depending on where you want to go, if you want to go encounter orcs and stuff, head towards the Misty Mountains or go north towards Angmar. Uh, if you want to encounter uh, the Gondorians, obviously go south, um, down near Gondor. Um, so it just depends on what you want to do. There's the elves in the east and the west. There's Linden. Um, there's also Rivendell and then... Um, Lothlorien you can go to. Alright, so we're back home. So, let's just put this stuff away here. That can go in there, and you guys can go in here. Alright, cool. So, we're going to end uh, the episode for today. Uh, we did a lot of stuff. We got a, our portal in Middle, Middle Earth built, finished building the tower. Um, it's not quite done yet, but it's done enough for now. Um, we've got our house in Middle Earth here built. It's not the best house in the world, but it's a house to start out of. Um, kind of got a leaky roof, unfortunately. And it does, for some reason, rain a lot in the Shire. Um, I'm not sure if it's the time of year it is here or what it is, but, um, yeah, so there's, you know, we're, we're dealing with that. Picked up a little bit, of a little bit of money, so we've got some money in our pouch here now. Um, you know, 64 silver pieces. Not too bad. Not too shabby. We've got ourselves some uh, equipment. We've got ourselves some metals that we can work with, some iron and stuff, so we're good here. So I'm going to end it, and... Um, Next time when we come back, like I said, we're going to go, um, going to leave the Shire. We're going to go to Greenholm first. I think we're going to go out east, or sorry, out west her first, go into Thorin's Halls, uh, maybe pick up some Dwarven gear, um, because it's the fastest to get to. Like, if we teleport to Greenholm, which is just basically clicking and then clicking I to get there, um, 
it's just a, a quick jaunt through here to pick up um, the ability to fast travel. Then, of course, we have to wait half an hour before we can do that. But this run in real time is probably close to half an hour. That's how big this world is. It's huge. Uh, when I say huge, it's ridiculously huge. So when we get to the far downs too, I believe, not 100% sure, but I believe it does open up access to Tharbad because it's the same color. I think that's what it does in the north downs. I'm not 100% sure, um, but it might open up some of the places in here for fast travel. I know Bree is on its own um, separate place, so you have to actually walk all the way there to get there or go to the Forsaken Inn and come back. But um, yeah, there's pl plenty of places to explore. The biomes are all different. Um, so each area has got a completely different biome. Like this is all like big, huge, tall, uh, beautiful trees and stuff. Um, and this is all peaceful area over here. Um, but um, yeah, so we're going to figure out next time when we come back. But I think we will go this way. It's the fastest way to actually um, open up some of these areas. And then depending uh, between episodes, I'll probably just go open up a bunch of areas so we can have fast travel and you can check them all out. All right, but until next time, I'll see you later.